My people, sons and daughters of Helgan, for many years we have been a broken nation, shunned, oppressed, and conquered by those we sought to escape. Ten years ago, I asked for time, and that time was granted by you, you, the strength in my arm, the holders of my dreams. Our forefathers embarked on the greatest exodus in the history of all mankind. An exodus for freedom. Helgan became that freedom. Our new world changed our bodies. At first, it weakened us. But in fact, we were growing stronger. In the time you have given me, I have rebuilt our nation. I have rebuilt our strength. And I have rebuilt our pride. Our enemies at home have been re-educated. We have given them new insights into our cause. On this day, we stand united once more. On this day, those driven to divide us will hear our voice. On this day, we shall act as one, and we shall be ignored no more. General Adams, sir. We got multiple hell gas vessels approaching. What do we do, sir? Fire! Defenders of the Helgas dream, now is our time! If I were Obama, I'd marry that guy. Anyway Attack. Yeah, I bet you would, fire. asshole. Anyways, here we are with Killzone HD on the PlayStation 3, a remake of the PlayStation 2, I mean, quote-unquote cult hit, being that the game did come out on November the 9th, which is, you know, revered to gamers everywhere as the day Halo 2 released. Now, either you had that date in the back of your mind because it was a day you were waiting for, or you got a tattoo to your arm like some asshole Microsoft executive did. You know, whatever the case, I shouldn't say Microsoft, he's at EA now or wherever he is. But at the end of the day, we all knew the better game of the two and it's unfortunate this game had that distinction of coming out on that day among other games that came out. Sadly though, you know, it, it, Guerrilla Games and Sony never championed this as the Halo killer. No one did except, you know, the usual people in the media that were pretty much already against it from the word go. It was an unfortunate distinction to have. But, you know, any game that comes out in the, the same day as a major title is going to have that distinction. This, this game came out the same day as this, or this game came out the same day as that. It just never ends. But for a game like Killzone, it was a little unfair because, justifiably, it was a good game. I mean, it, we can't go back and forth with comparing it to Halo. It's its own thing. I mean, we're not going to compare Goldeneye to Halo. We're not going to compare Resistance to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 or Halo 4. So we got to just look at them as their own thing. Like, you see how I'm using the sniper rifle right here? This is cool. I like the zoom-in effect on it. Although I will say the zoom-in effect on this isn't good because you're not really looking through the zoom. The game is more or less doing that in you know enlarged view it's not necessarily doing much of a zoom in, so that doesn't necessarily count. I don't know why they would do that. Let's go down this ladder here. This is a game that really runs on a lot of quick time events associated with the X button. Now the X button is the quick time button. L1, you know, 
relatively does secondary fire when you have the button ready I'm sorry when you have the ammo ready I should say I don't know what I'm talking about you just press that and blammo you're done your enemy goes down R3 which is also the right trigger when you press that in zooms it in as we go on through square reloads and as you can see the sniper rifle takes forever to reload there we go not as bad as other games but not good enough triangle switches weapons R2 throws grenades and when you hold it down you get a nice little charge up effect it doesn't increase the power what they call it is heating it meaning taking time off and then just throwing it at them to get the most damage out quickly but get it out quick before that timer runs up as indicated with that little light LED light on the side here we got some Hellgast right up here let's take them down yeah and down they go you hear how enthused I am? This is an HD remake of a PlayStation 2 hit. HD remake need not mean need need not mean I should say a complete overhaul of the game. This is a game that suffers still from its old controls and its old system of play mechanics. It's still a good game nonetheless, but when compared to the PlayStation 3 versions of Killzone 2 and Killzone 3, I don't know how they can call this an HD collection at all. Now I know it says the Killzone collection on the box set with an HD remastered version of the original Killzone from PlayStation but it's a bit unfortunate that this game more or less doesn't really feel more of a revamp as it does to maybe just clean the graphics up slightly. I mean when you play the, the Ratchet and Clank collection, the Jack and Daxter collection, the Sly Cooper collection you play those games it feels like they're it, it they are the same games but they do feel and look like they're brand new and that's the greatest thing about the Ratchet and Clank series I just got done wrapping that up getting tri uh, platinum trophies in all three of the games and playing them it's like it, it was like night and day it was amazing to see the graphics overhauled as much as they were in the Ratchet and Clank games it actually looked almost as good as some of the PlayStation 3 Ratchet and Clank games not as good being that they can't take it that far but it was it was refreshing to see that with this it's still very grainy very gray very dark not too much really going on in terms of the environment but you do feel like you're in this war torn environment against the hell gas and you're the lead, and you're in the ISA good game but definitely dated this is something that did not age well at all it's very unfortunate too because the later games as i mentioned before very good very very good and i'm looking forward to killzone mercenaries for the playstation vita as you can see i was just killed there for no reason at all the environment blows up and there i go real dramatic the camera just pans around it says failed i wonder if that's what it said when they were coding this game oh and where's the revised controls that was another thing that was one of the big promises we revised the controls. The controls are going to be better. The game's going to play like it does in the later versions on the PlayStation 3. Instead, what we get is basically a cleaned up port as opposed to getting a brand new experience. Now, I'm not asking for a brand new experience. Don't get me wrong. Don't misconstrued. But, you know, when you play the previously mentioned HD collections, yeah, they're the same games, but they don't necessarily look or feel or sound like those games. They get a tremendous cleanup. So, this game was pushed out in two ways. You can buy it in the Killzone Collection box set, or you can buy it separately on the PlayStation Marketplace for $15. We also have known as the PlayStation Store. Man, I do a lot of shopping on Xbox. That's because I like a network that's secure and works. But on the other side, there is an incentive to buy the boxed version of the game. You do get all three games in one box, including the HD remake, which is what I'm looking at right now, and what you're looking at right now. But you do get all the content for the next two games, and that's a that's a definite plus because if you want to get into the series, if you're looking for a really good sci-fi style shooter, this is the way to go. It's a good game, and it has a lot going for it in terms of overall p presentation and character development, story, and script. This game's got some fantastic cutscenes. It's just that crap that's in between it called Killzone that really kind of drags it out. I know that's unfair to say, I love this franchise and I love this this series of games, it's just really, really well done. And the later games get even better, henceforth why they're called sequels. The, the first game's always the foundation. You want to continue on that, you want to keep it going, you want to make it that much better. Playing this game, you really can't see how they came from this to Killzone 2. But it does show the testament that they can really, if when it comes right down to it, 
they can get it done, and they can make a game that was panned by critics as mediocre and average at best to one of the most revered shooting franchises today. I mean, on the market. So it's really cool. But, you know, I love this sniper rifle. Really forgot how cool that was. It's been a little while since I played the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the entire game. I have finished it on the PlayStation 2. I remember finishing it up and getting the real lackluster ending. But then, you, you know, you play Kills on 2, and it very, very so was justifiable. It sets up a future game, much like how the Kills on 2 ending sets up the opening sequence to Kills on 3. But that being said, all those mentioned games, it's, it just drags on. It just develops so well, and the script writing and the story writing and the voice acting in the third game, they actually got Malcolm McDowell from Star Trek Generation, known as Sauron. It's the only movie I could really think of him. Look at that grenade throw. How horrible was that? And watch. Really, you know, ooh, watch out. That'll kill you. Wouldn't want that to happen. You know, I wonder if the ISA called the governments and asked for more security around this area, and they were told, well, we'll decide whether or not you need it. Why the fuck am I using a sniper rifle indoors? What's the matter with me? There we go. You notice what I'm not doing? There's two things here. Well, three if you want to count getting hit mercilessly. You have to initiate quick time incidents to use melee attacks, and that sucks because in the later games you can melee on the go and as much as you want. No covering, but then again, I'm not expecting it to have cover. This is a very early franchised game later on in the PlayStation 2's life cycle. But why can't I jump? I mean, really? No jumping. You hear that? That's me pressing the button that should be jump. Nope. No jump to be had. Let's go right up this pipe. All this smoke, yet there's no fires around it. And it disappears as soon as you walk past it, comes right back. Look, let's do it again. Yep, let's breathe that in. Man, can he reload that any slower? Why tape the ammo cartridges together if you're going to take forever to reload them? Although I like Templar. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like Templar. But Jesus Christ, dude. And what is wrong with your right leg? Ugh, what an asshole. Not Templar. Me. But you can tell by that. It always takes you back as far back as it possibly could. This game has a lot of checkpoints. But there are times where it feels like, you know... They're too far apart, but then again, if you have them too close, I'd be saying that it makes the game a little bit too easy, so I'm going to say it's a little bit fair. There's just nothing going on in these environments. For Warzone, there's just nothing going on. This game has not aged well, as I mentioned before. Climb the ladder, do all this again, reload. Why did he reload? I didn't fire. The reticule for the sniper rifle is really cool, because it just feels... It just, it flows with the right analog stick. As you see it on screen is as it is on the controller. Right where it should be. Perfect control. It's just that part right there. It takes forever. The game is mission oriented and it plays out in chapters, which I don't like because I particularly like my shooters to not be open open world, I mean, Borderlands is that way, and I, I particularly don't like it, but in a sense, see, why does that keep happening? You should just go down the ladder. No, like I said, as before, this is a quick time based game, so if you're not qu paying attention to what you're doing, you're just going to keep doing that over and over again, and I'm not doing that intentionally just to show it. I'm doing it because I'm not paying really, there we go, much attention to playing this game, being that I've played it before. Then again, I have played Ratchet and Clank games and Jack and Daxter and so forth again, but the HD collections were just inviting to me. I wanted to play them again. This is a $15 download that's 3 gigs in size, so you can tell they really didn't do much work other than clean it up. Switch weapons here. Pistol. This is more like the assault rifle. This, this is like the primary weapon of the game. 
you do get weapons later on that are really cool. You get a rocket launcher later on in this mission to blow up a tank. Let's cut through here. Let's see if we can do it the way we're supposed to now. Goodbye.